I'm Dr. Craig Tice, Superintendent of Schools of the Fayetteville Manlia Central School District. Thank you for taking time today to learn more about the school district's proposed budget for the 2023-2024 school year. Today we will go over the proposed budget, expenditures, revenues, and the tax levy increase, as well as important budget dates, including the budget vote that will take place on Tuesday, May 16th, 2023. I'm pleased to inform you that this year's proposal maintains all existing staffing and student programming. The proposed budget increase is primarily due to the combination of inflation, salary increases due to contractual agreements, higher insurance premium costs, and the district's prioritization of mental health support services. Here to provide you with more information about this year's budget proposal, is Assistant Superintendent for Business Services, Mr. Brad Corbin. Thank you, Dr. Tice. The three-part budget is composed of capital, administrative, and program components. Under the proposed spending plan, capital-related costs, which makes up 16.4% of budget expenditures, will increase by approximately $177,000, or 1%. Administrative-related costs, which makes up 8.8% of the budget, will increase by approximately $485,000, or 5.5%. Program-related costs will increase by approximately 5.4 million, or 7.4%, which makes up 74.7% .7 of the budget expenditures. The proposed spending plan carries a 6.1% increase. The main areas driving the increase are salary increase due to contractual agreements, or 2.7 million, higher insurance premium costs, or 1.3 million, and an increase in the district's offerings of mental health services, for approximately 840,000. These expenditures account for approximately 78.7% .7 of the total $6.1 million budget increase. If these driving factors are removed, the budget increase is approximately $1.3 million. Additional budget expenditures include an increase in funding for special education services in order to accommodate the expanding need for those services for $400,000, as well as an increase in transportation spending for a total of $400,000 in support of the district's UPK program with the addition of transportation routes. The other line item to address is the transfer to capital for $500,000, which will fund restroom renovations at Mott Road Elementary School to ensure accessibility along with ventilation improvement work, which includes the installation of an air conditioning system also at Mott Road. As the district continues its work to support the social, emotional, and mental health and wellness of its students and staff members, the proposal seeks to maintain and expand upon the district's current mental health services. For more on that, here is the Director of Counseling Services, Heidi Green. Thank you, Mr. Corbin. The budget proposal maintains Onondaga County's Tier 2 Access Helpline along with the addition of three full-time student engagement specialists, one at each elementary school, to provide additional mental health support to our younger students. As federal stimulus funding is discontinued, the budget's mental health expenditure would also be used to maintain the district's current mental health services. Stimulus funding currently supports a portion of the district's offerings, including the family school liaisons at each school and Will DeSantis, our mental health educator from Contact Community Services. The budget proposal seeks to preserve these positions for a total of seven contractual positions. The proposed spending plan includes funding for the addition of a student's assistance program counselor at the high school that provides drop-in mental health support, which was specifically requested by the students. Funding for existing mental health programs, such as training and programming with CNY Mental Health Counseling Services with Dr. Melissa Carmen, would also increase. Additional mental health services that will be maintained or added under the budget proposal include a student school climate and mental health survey, seats in the Virtual Learning Academy, and BIMAS, the behavioral screener that was administered to all students in the 2022-2023 school year. Thank you, Mrs. Green. Through the years, the budget has increased, culminating in the proposed budget for 23-24, representing a 6.1% increase. We're now going to switch to the revenue component of the budget. The three main components of revenue are property taxes, state aid, and other sources of revenue. State aid makes up 30.4% of budget revenues and is projected to be $31.9 million, representing approximately a $4 million increase. The main factor driving the increase is state aid in the form of foundation aid, which increased by $4.2 million or 29.4%. This is due to the New York State Foundation Aid Phase-In Plan, which provides districts with full funding. Property taxes account for 66.8% of the budget revenues. 
The property tax cap, which restricts the property tax levy increase, is 3.82%, or a maximum increase of $2.58 million. Under the proposed spending plan, the tax levy increase is at a tax cap of 3.82%. The tax rate impact on a $100,000 home assessment using prior year assessments and equalization rates would result in an annual increase of approximately $88.90. Other revenue sources make up 2.8% of the budget revenues and are projected at $2.62 million. The assigned fund balance will decrease by $800,000. The school tax levy has increased over the past five years, and with the proposed 3.82% tax levy increase, the tax levy would be approximately $70.1 million, which is approximately $2.6 million increase. To learn more about the proposed budget and to ask any questions you may have, the Fayetteville Manlius School District invites you to attend the budget public hearing which will be held on Monday, May 8th at 6 p.m. in the Eagle Hill Auditorium. You can also submit your budget questions using the Let's Talk communication portal that's available on the district's website. Finally, community members who are registered to vote are also encouraged to vote Tuesday, May 16th. We hope to see you there.